how are you? I hope you're well and you've had a lovely week in this sort of topsy-turvy world that we're living in at the moment. Um, what we need to do, I think, is pass on some positivity. So I'm hoping to do that in my video today. So last time I left you, I was in Hampton Court and my daughter was with us and she has actually just gone this morning. So I'm glad I'm doing this now to keep myself busy because I'm going to miss her terribly. So we did have to go on the Tidal Thames. So let's have a look and see how we got on. So one o'clock in the afternoon was high tide and we were ready to go through. We had the anchor ready, we had our life jackets on and we made our way towards Teddington Lock. We were only going from Teddington to Brentford. We didn't need any sort of radio license. So here we are inside the lock, ready to go on the Tidal Thames. Now, if it wasn't for our daughter, we would have missed the turning point here as we tried to get onto the Grand Union Canal. It is hard to miss, so make sure you know where you're going. But here we are going onto the Grand Union. Now this lock, we did need to book. So because the lock keeper knew we were coming, he had the lock all ready for us. So you can book Brentford Lock by emailing CRT. And when we arrived, the lock keeper warned us of bridge 209, which is a very low one. We moored our boat in Brentford, very close to a swing. <laughs> so it wasn't as bad as I expected. Uh, we stayed at Brentford for the whole of Saturday because the weather was atrocious. It just didn't stop raining at all. So we decided to leave our journey from Brentford to Rickmansworth in one day, the Sunday, and it took us nine and a half hours. But we met some beautiful people, lovely as well, because a lady had just bought her boat and her dad was there with her trying to get it to a marina and she was going to do it all up and live on it. So it was such a lovely story to hear. And we really helped each other get through the Hanwell flight, which is only six long. And we are moving our boat. We are trying to get to Rickmansworth. We think it's about five hours of cruising. We thought we'd leave early. I didn't think we were going to leave this early, but we'll see what happens along the way. is just a stunning place because you've got the Aquadrome which is a great big lake in the park um, right alongside the moorings of Rickmansworth but also you have other lakes surrounding it as well and Stockers Lake is one of my favourite. So on the journey down we had spotted some beautiful ducks, some really unusual ducks called Cayuga ducks and also on our journeys around the lakes over the days that we have spent here in Rickmansworth we have spotted some really rare birds and um, obviously some more common birds on the water. So I thought I'd provide for you a moment of mindfulness looking at the wonderful birds that we have managed to spot this week on our journey.
with me here um it doesn't it looks a bit concerning but it's rosehip oil and india and i decided we would make our own so this is how we did that this week first of all you have to pick your rose hips Then you have to pick out any stalks and give them a good rinse. Once you've bashed them about a bit to release the seeds, then they are ready to go in a baking tray. To add your base oil, we're using sweet almond oil and it's only £3.75. So keep it warm for a few days so the rose hips can release their, all their goodness into the oil. Then you strain through muslin or any sort of cloth that will keep the big bits and let the liquid pour through. And there we have it, rose hip oil. We'll let you know how we get on. I have started using it already and I know that it will be successful when I go into Tesco's and they ID me for buying wine. So hopefully the rosehip oil will do that. But don't try it yet. Um, uh, bear with me if you want to try it. I'm the experiment and uh, if it's uh, fine and safe to use then maybe you could try it as well. Uh, I've got to say that I absolutely love getting your comments. Um, this this video of mine, these vlogs of mine, it's just a hobby. It's something I wanted to do just to keep a record of our journeys why, whilst we're doing this. So to get really lovely comments back from you just makes it really special. So thank you so much for, for doing that. And I would really like you now to have a moment to sit back and relax because I'm going to take you on the journey that we went on when we left Teddington and we cruised all the way to Brentford. And if you haven't subscribed, then why don't you? And maybe share the channel with somebody as well. Okay, look after yourself. Bye-bye. Wild Things by Wendell Berry When despair for the world grows in me and I wake in the night at the least sound in fear 
of what my life and my children's lives may be. I go and lie down where the wood drake rests in his beauty on the water and the great heron feeds. I come into the peace of wild things who do not tax their lives with forethought of grief. I come into the presence of still water and I feel above me the day, blind stars waiting with their light for a time I rest in the grace of the world and am free. Thank you.